I'd like to welcome you to the ski CVT introduction. My name is Ken Goji, ski product specialist. And I'm Chad, a junior engineer at ski -Doo. There'll be five short videos with Chad and myself discussing the P-Drive and the CVT system on the BRP snowmobiles. How it works, from cleaning to adjusting, and what are all the components that makes it work. At the end of the day, what we'd like is for you to fully understand how the system works all together. Chad, let's discuss about the basic function of the CVT system. So on the CVT system, we have two different pulleys. We have the QRS on the driven side, which is the quick response system. On the drive side, uh, we have the new introduced P-Drive, uh, which brings new technology to the skidoo sleds. What's the objective to maintain the efficiency of the CVT system? The objective of the CVT is to keep the engine at a certain shift ratio. Uh, on performance sled, that might be at the peak horsepower of the engine. Can you give me an example of why it's so critical to do these adjustments? Let's say we take uh, engagement. Uh, engagement will be calibrated to specific type of segment uh, to meet customer demands. Uh, to have a proper engagement, we will need to have a, a high enough RPM so that we can uh, overcome drag and permit uh, an acceleration of the sled without bogging. Is there any other adjustments that we'd have to do to, uh, to make sure this is, is proper efficiency? Yes, uh, let's take belt adjustment in the driven pulley. Uh, we can compare that to air in your tires. If they're over or under inflated, you, you can get premature wear. Uh, same thing applies to belt adjustment. A uh, good belt adjustment will give you better performance and better life on your belt. All right, thanks for the explanation, Chad. What we'll do is we'll discuss a little bit more about the adjustments in a later on video. I'd like to thank you for your uh, discussion today and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.